Hello my beautiful butterflies and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'll be sharing with you a beauty haul. So if you want to see what that's all about you guys, just keep right on watching. Okay you guys, so today's video is going to be a beauty haul. But before I get into that you guys, I want to say thank you to all of you who sent my mom well wishes you guys. I explained in my last upload that I was away from YouTube because literally you guys, my mom had an emergency surgery and as soon as I came back from Detroit off the plane, I went straight to her and then from there, after her surgery, she came here to stay with me until she was up on her feet. Yesterday, my dad picked her up. She went home. My husband and I, we went out. And then he called last night to say she wanted to come back. So I'm going to speak to her later on this morning. I'm going to give her time to get up and get herself together. And we'll see what happens from there. But thank you guys so much for all of your prayers. I really appreciate that, you guys. So you know the drill before we get into any of the video and the haul that I have for you guys let's do a little bit of housekeeping just in case you're interested so first you guys on my face I have to tell you I've fallen in love with this foundation that I picked up from Chanel I hauled it with you guys I'll link it just in case you haven't seen it but you guys this foundation is awesome I love it especially because I love foundations that are nice on your skin and you don't feel them at all. This is one of their water tint foundations. It's the La Beige Water Tint. It's the La Beige Water Tint Complexion Foundation. I'm in the shade B50. Here is what it looks like, you guys. It does have a pump. You guys, this foundation is my new favorite, you guys. I wish it was more in here because I know I'm gonna go through this really quickly and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this foundation is 60 bucks from Chanel. But you guys, I have to say, this is a good one, you guys. I highly recommend this. If you are a light coverage girl, you love a light coverage, if you love your foundations to feel like it's not there, this is definitely it. It's, it's that water in it, I guess. That's why I love water creams too because they just make my face feel so, so good. And I love that feeling, you guys. So, yeah, I definitely don't feel this on my face at all. And it gives you a light coverage, but you can build it up to a medium coverage if you need it to. Now, it's not going to be a full coverage foundation, you guys. But, you guys, I have it on today. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, this is by far one that I'm really really enjoying and I'm so glad I picked this up and I'm sure this won't be my only one I definitely will be getting this one again for sure love it that much so you're gonna see that one in my favorites you guys because I definitely love that foundation so I have this quad on from Chanel, which I unboxed with you guys um, when the collection came out. And it's part of that Tweed collection. And today I have on the palette 01. That is what it looks like right there. So for my eye look today, I first went in with this deep brown shade right here and I put that all over my lid. Then right in the center of my lid, I put this shade right here because it has like a copper hue to it and it just made it look so, so pretty. And then for my enter tear duct highlight, I used this champagne -y shade right here. 
and it has gold in it as well so this you guys out of all the palettes I have to say zero one is my favorite I know a lot of people like zero four which is more cool tone but I am a warmer shade type girl so this one out of all the palettes if I had to choose one it will definitely be this one and I would say pick this one up you guys so definitely love this one the colors went on on this palette so so smooth so this is definitely my favorite one out of that collection zero one you guys and then next as my mascara today i'm using one from tom ford which i actually been enjoying this is the ultra length mascara from tom ford and i'm definitely enjoying this one because it is giving me that volume and length to my lashes that I love. It has that nice brush on it that I like really slim. And yeah, I can just get right into those lashes with this one. Definitely been enjoying this from Tom Ford. And then next on my cheeks today, I'm wearing a new blush and this is by gucci and it's in the shade 05 rosy beige there it is if you can see that right there and that's what that beautiful compact looks like i think it looks so sleek and beautiful you guys and it just has like the little twist here to open it but yeah i love all the little stars on it it's so so pretty so this is the blush that I got and again this is 05 rosy beige looks so pretty on my cheeks I've also used this as an eyeshadow you guys and it looks beautiful as well so that is what I'm wearing as a blush today And then as my highlight you see up there beaming, this is one from Wayne Goss. And this is um, his blush and palette duo. It's called the Weightless Veil Blush Palette in Desert Blossom. And there's the information right here. Again, this is Wayne Goss. And I have on this beautiful highlight and nectar right here it's so so beautiful and so here's the blush and then here's the highlight but I'm just wearing the highlight today such a beautiful highlight you guys in nectar and then next on my lips today I'm using one of my favorites from the Chanel number no. one collection this is a balm that you can use on your cheeks or your lips I choose to always use it on my lips and this is the number two healthy pink. It comes in a pot like this. There's that beautiful pink shade right there. And it's just a beautiful glossy balm. Again, I like to use it on my lips. I don't use it on my cheek because of the tackiness. I don't want my hair and things like that to get stuck in it. So I stick to the lips for this one and I have that on my lips today along with my favorite lip liner you guys know in Sweet Tea. So that is the combo I'm wearing on my lips today. And then as for my nails today, I'm using an oldie but goodie that's been discontinued. I've had this for so long and it's still is such a beautiful nail polish this first one is by Chanel and it's in blue satin and again this was one of my old-time favorites I pulled out you guys and blue satin is that deep almost black but blue color right there if you could see that such a gorgeous shade you guys it's definitely one of my favorite shades 
and then on my accent nail i am wearing one from gucci that is called marcia cobalt and it looks like this right here so that's those accent nails right there and then on top of that accent nail you know i have my famous top coat that i always talk about from allen girl that i purchased in hawaii so yeah these are the two nail polishes that i'm wearing today love how they turned out you guys so yep that's what's on my nails today and then next as a fragrance today you guys i'm wearing again one of my favorites by killian you guys i have this one in a travel spray and it looks like this So beautiful and so this one you guys is forbidden games there it is right there I know a lot of people love the love don't be shy I love that one as well but this one you guys I love it it has more of a marshmallow scent to me it's sweet but spicy at the same time you guys i love this one i'll put the notes on the screen just in case you're interested but again this is forbidden game next you guys as for what i'm wearing as you can see i have a louis vuitton bandeau on my head today and this is from their game on collection the flip side of this one is white, but I have it on the black side today, if you can see that. So, you guys, excuse my hair today because I didn't even curl it. It has a little bit of curls in it, but I literally just got up today, threw this um, bandeau on it, and that was it, y'all, because I went out last night, and I'm still recovering from that. But... <laughs> But yeah, so next I have my earrings today. I have my LV monogram earrings on in the gold. These are their iconic studs um, from LV. I've mentioned those before here. I have on my favorite bracelet from Louis Vuitton, which you guys, I laugh at it because it is so old, but it's such a staple favorite for me. Um, and this is the Nano Bracelet and the Monogram. I absolutely love this one. You guys, you know how it is um, when the Fashetta turns. Look how old this is. Do you see how dark that is? I don't mind it on a bracelet because you're not going to see the inside of it at all. That's going to be against my skin. But yeah, this again is by far one of my favorite bracelets from Louis Vuitton that's why you always see me wearing it you guys so I have that on today and then with my blouse I have on this is from Express it's just one of those like flowy blouses with the rouging and the ruffle neck and the rouging all down the blouse here and it's in this beautiful color it's this terracotta color that's what drew me to it i have several of these i think i bought like three of these from express so i have i know one is pink and then one is like florally i might have four of them i don't know but you know how your girl does when she loves a top or anything she buys it over and over again that's just me you guys um, and so, the bag that I'm rocking today doesn't even match what I have on. It's my bag from last night when I went out. It is my Louis Vuitton Denim Alma BB, which will always be in my collection, you guys. As you can see, I have this butterfly charm on it from Coach with that blue on it as well. And I didn't mean for my nails to match my bag, but yesterday when I did my nails and they came out, I was like, wait a minute, I have a bag like that. So then, <laughs> so then I picked up the bag to wear it. So yeah, it was totally a coincidence. When I looked at my nails, I was like, I can rock my bag that looks just like that. 
So I pulled this one out, you guys. And again, this one, you know, will forever be in my collection. I love that it has the feet on it. It is so old, you guys, because this model is not carried anymore. And with that, I mean the denim version is no longer available. Of course, the Alma BB is in Louis Vuitton's history, and it is a staple bag in their collection. So, of course, you can get this Alma BB, but just not in the denim unless you're going the pre-love route. So, yeah, this is an oldie but goodie, you guys, and I love it. So, that is what it looks like in there from last night. And, yeah, that's the bag right here that I'm rocking today. Okay, guys, so let's get into this beauty haul. I'm going to call this part one of my haul. I do have some clothing items and bags to share with you, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. So, we'll start with all the beauty items first. So, first, you guys, we're going to talk about the items I picked up from Ulta. Now, I picked these up during their 21 Days of Beauty. Now, during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, they mark their items down to 50% off, you guys. And so, every day, you'll see the items that's marked down for that 50%. And then, you can purchase the items at that time at that sale price. Now, this first item that I'm going to share with you that I picked up wasn't part of their 21 Days of Beauty. But when I went into the store to pick up an item that I purchased from the 21 Days of Beauty, I ran across this palette, you guys. I swatched it. And you know what happens. It's sitting in my lap. So, this is the Tarte Man Eater Palette. Here's what it looks like, you guys. And no, of course, I didn't need another palette. But again, when I swatched this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. And especially, you guys, it had a green shade in it too. So you know that got me, you guys. So let's just open this up right here. This is what that palette looks like, you guys. And, ooh, it has a beautiful big mirror on the other side. Right here, I won't blind you with. But those are all those gorgeous shades, you guys. And this green right here was calling my name. This terracotta shade right here is so lovely. All these pinks that I swatched was so, so beautiful, you guys. So, you will definitely be seeing a look with this palette you guys I love it and I knew I was gonna love that Tarte palette in those shadows because one of my all-time favorite Tarte palettes it's a neutral palette I used to wear this every day to work was their Tartlet Toasted palette and here it is right here you guys I still have this beauty and I still love it and here is what it looks like, you guys. I still have this beautiful palette in my collection. I still love it. It is like the perfect neutral palette, you guys. And I used to talk about how it would smell so, so good when I would apply my makeup in the morning. But yeah, you guys. I love Tarte formulation of their shadows. So, yeah, I definitely had to pick up that Man Eater palette. And then next in there, they gave me this cute little gift set since I bought the palette. And what does it have in it? It has a mascara. It has their shape tape, which I love. And then also a primer as three free gifts here for buying the palette. And there's the little tiny samples right there and what they look like. So, got that, and you know me with tiny samples. I just put them in my travel bag. And so next, on one of the days, they had the Beauty Blender for 50% off. So I picked up this beautiful green one. I love applying my makeup with a beauty sponge. So it doesn't matter if it's a beauty blender 
or um, my favorite one is by Juno and Company. But yeah, picked up this green one here. And then they had the Jaclyn Cosmetics on one of the days as well. And I picked up this beautiful highlighter, you guys. And this one is in the shade Ice, if you can see that. But you guys, I have to share with you this color because it is so beautiful. Look at that gorgeous packaging as well. It's a bit heavy. And then here is that beautiful shade in ice look at that shade swatched on my skin you guys that is so so beautiful you guys i can't wait to wear this one as a highlight so creamy so yeah pick that one up for half off and then the last products that i got from ulta one of the days they had mac on sale you guys and you know how i talk about mac here all the time i picked up three of their blushes which were all of course half off during that sale so the first one i got is in the shade love joy and we'll just see what that one looks like there it is right there and I know I'm going to love this one just looking at it. There's that beautiful love joy right there. Let's swatch that. Look at that, you guys. Oh, that's going to look pretty. Look at love joy. That's love joy on my skin. And then this next one is called Humor Me. That's that one. There's that beautiful shade. Let's swatch that one. Oh, that's going to be a pretty nude, you guys. So that's that one right there. Humor me. And then the next one is called Like Me, Love Me. And this is this beautiful peachy shade, which is right up my alley love some peachy tones and so that's that like me love me i'm sure i'll love it and that is what that looks like i'm gonna put it right here in the front and there is that like me love me right there on my skin you guys i am gonna love wearing these so you know you'll see them in my upcoming housekeeping so those were the items i picked up from ulta and then next this item i'm most excited about you guys that i picked up from hourglass and so here it is in the box right here now you guys i picked up the new hourglass ambient palette here and you know I got this one with the butterfly casing and I say casing because the inside of it is the tiger 2 palette they came out with three different ones they have the butterfly the elephant and the tiger and so yes they teamed up with this lovely artist and she designed these palettes which are so so gorgeous you guys and again you know the butterfly is what got me but I end up ordering this on the Hourglass website and I'll tell you the reason why is because you know with me I had to have that butterfly palette casing. But the inside I wanted the deeper shades which was the number two tiger one. So on the Hourglass website they let you choose the casing and customize what palette you want inside of it which is awesome you guys because it worked for me I definitely wanted this butterfly but I wanted the tiger palette inside of here the number two tiger inside of there so that's why I customized it so mine won't look like the regular ones that you would buy in the store because I customized mine to fit me 
So if you buy the Butterfly palette in store, just know it's the light shades that come in this one. But I got the deeper shades in this one. They have the shades that I chose on the back, which is that tiger shade which is nice so they customize it just perfectly so let's just open this up yes there is the beautiful tiger shades right there so yes those are the deeper shades and i believe all of these shades with the exception of one of them are um new shades which is why i wanted them so bad they had so many blushes here and then you had your highlights here and your all over face it is just a lovely palette for me you guys i don't use them necessarily all the time how they say to use them you know me I just use it how I see fit, how it works for me. But these shades, especially this one here, I know it's going to be beautiful, you guys. I can see myself wearing this as an eyeshadow as well. This is going to be a beautiful blush, I know. Um, yeah, I had to choose this one. So again, just to note, if you like butterflies you're gonna and you want this one, you're going to have to customize it on their website. Otherwise, if you buy them like in Sephora and, you know, all the stores that sell um, Hourglass, you are going to get the Butterfly palette has lighter shades in it. So, just wanted to mention that. But, yeah, I'm glad I customized it. And then they also put in an eye balm here as a free gift in my package they put this eye balm in here so i'm excited to try this out there's a sample there right there of the eye balm i've never tried this before so i'm interested to try it and that's not the first time i've purchased hourglass um the last palette that i got was this beautiful one here called the unlocked palette and as you can see, I was using all of these shades. Like this one has a huge dent in it right here, if you can see that. But this is one I still continue to use as well. So I do love Hourglass. So pick that one up. And so next, I picked up two items from Sephora, you guys. And first, this one y'all is definitely a favorite if you don't follow me on instagram i shared me putting this on in the car y'all i was so excited about it so this comes from fenty beauty and this is their new gloss balm in cold hearted and you guys this one here now, you know, I've spoken to you about the gloss bombs before. The other ones, I love the formula, but I just couldn't wear them because that scent, which was like a candy, candy scent, was really strong and I couldn't take it throughout the day. So I end up giving my ones like that to my daughter. And when I saw this one came out and I knew it was going to be a minty, flavor i was hoping it didn't have that smell so i went into the store to make sure and it didn't you guys i smelled it in store didn't have that scent at all it is definitely a minty scent so if that's not up your alley this is not going to be for you it's very minty but when you put it on you guys you see where it says ice right there it just gives you this icy feeling very tingly to your lips and y'all i like that i love that so it looks blue if you can see that you guys and this by far is my favorite one oh it just smells like mint you guys this is my favorite one now i'm a mint girl so when i saw this i went racing to sephora to pick this one up but yes, definitely love this one. Definitely recommend if you love mint, you guys. It's fire. 
I love this, you guys. And then the last item I picked up from Sephora is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of her eyes to mesmerize. This is definitely one of those one and done eyeshadow that you can just put all over your lid and be done with it. So, yes. I love her eyes to mesmerize, you guys. Let me open this one up because it was a new one. And when I saw the iridescent on this one, you guys, I was like, I have to have that. So, you guys, here is what it looks like. Now, y'all, I'm going to have to swatch this one for you. So, when I swatch it in the store, what is this shade name called? It's called Sunlit Glow. When I swatched this in the store, you guys, I was just like, yes. And if you've ever tried any of these by Charlotte Tilbury, you know all you need is a little dot. That's it. This will last you a lifetime. One of these. You, you might as well get someone you can share it with because you will never go through this because literally you need a dot and sweep it all over your lid and that's it. But let me just swatch this one for you, you guys, so you can see. I'm just taking a little bit because a little bit goes a long way with these and it just oh yes this one has that beautiful iridescent to it hopefully you guys can see that I am filming um, right next to a window so that natural light is coming in but I'm moving my hand so hopefully you can see it but it's a beautiful beautiful iridescent shade you guys, this is going to look so gorgeous on the lid. Oh my gosh. It is probably not doing it justice here. But don't worry. You're going to see it in an upcoming video. I'm going to do it in my housekeeping. I'm going to wear this, you guys. You know. And oh my gosh. That shade is beautiful. So next, you guys, I'm going to go into a fragrance that I picked up from Macy's. And here it is right here and it's that beautiful Prada fragrance there is the little Macy's bag right here now Macy's had a sale going on I can't remember the percentage off so I got the Prada paradox fragrance you guys I smelled it I liked it and they were giving away a free gift with it as well as having it discounted down. Um, I want to say it was like 15%. But yeah, you guys, let me just open this up. Because again, I haven't opened any of these. I haven't had time to play with any of these items with, you know, caring for my mom. i just been around the house. So, yeah, here's what it looks like right here. And if I can recall, when I smelled it in the store, it smelled really, really good. And you know, I most fell in love with the bottle. Look at that bottle, you guys. So, so beautiful. So I ended up getting the larger one because it was already discounted. I already have perfume on, but I'm going to spray a little bit because I remember this being citrusy. Yes, this is such a citrus scent and it's florally and citrusy at the same time, but not overpowering. It's a very safe, beautiful scent. Very girly. I love it, you guys. So yeah, picked this up from Macy's. Wanted to share that with you guys. And then again, the free gift that they were giving was this little pouch that goes with it that you can put your fragrance in as well it says Prada right here and you just open it up and there it is right there and you can use this um, you know as a little makeup bag you can use it to store things in but yeah I think this is beautiful you guys and so if you wanted to just store your fragrance in there, you can do that as well and put a lot of other things in here. Let's just take this out. So you can just store your fragrance in there and put a lot of other things in there as well. I thought this was such a beautiful little gift. 
that they had at Macy's to go with the fragrance. So pick that up from Macy's, you guys. And so next, my next beauty items comes from the house of Hermes. And I picked up two items from Hermes. Now these two items that I picked up, I know I love them. I already have them in my collection. I just chose different shades. So the first one here is their Lip Care Oil, which you guys know I rave about. So I have one of these already in the Rose Cola, which I love, which is why I picked up another one because I just love the feel of it on your lips. It's so moisturizing. It feels so nice on the lips. And this one I picked up is in the shade Rose Pattaya. And there it is right there, you guys. Ooh, and this is one of those beautiful, like, looks like the inside of a fruit, you guys. It's so, so beautiful. And they all have scents to them, which I was a little worried about, but... Oh, no, this is not overpowering at all. It's very light. I do like the way they do those. The Rose Cola one is the exact same way. So here is my one in Rose Cola. And this is the new one here in Rose Pattaya. And yeah, I'm excited for this one. This is going to look so, so beautiful, you guys. So I picked that up from Hermes. And then the next thing I always talk about that I like from Hermes Beauty is their nail polishes. So I picked up a new one. So they had two new shades that came out for this fall winter. And I picked up one of them. This one is in the shade Etan. So it's the Etan one. And it's a metal you guys so I'm interested to try out that one there is that right there and if any of you guys are um, Hermes fan you know that Etan is one of their favorite colors in their leather line you know they have it in the handbags and so here again is the nail polish and all you do is slide it out right there and there is that beautiful color right there in their metal so it's a tan and metal oh i think this is going to be beautiful for fall you guys look at that the other one they had in their collection is a burgundy shade and i don't know why i don't really care for burgundy on my nails i wear it sometimes but not that often but this one you guys was right up my alley this a tan metal it is so, so beautiful. Hopefully, you can see that up close. So, I love the pearlescence in there. So, definitely pick that up from Hermes Beauty. And then, finally, I'm um, to the end, you guys. Lastly, all of my items come from Dior which I have not used any of these, you guys. As you know, Dior had their new collection come out. And you guys, yeah, I was excited for the packaging. You know, that always gets me. Um, so first down in this box, I see sticking is they gave me these Miss Dior postcards right here and then underneath I have some samples that I chose and I'll go over those um, now they give you two samples but if you have a code which I always do um, you get to get more um, and so this first sample comes like this and this is their Rouge Dior Forever lipsticks here. So you got four of those to try. And then also inside, they have another Rouge Dior satin on the other side. So it comes like that. 
So all in all, you have five lipsticks to try there. Nice. I have the J'adore perfume sample, which I always love these for travel. This is that new one right here. So excited to try that one out. And then also I have a sample of the Oud Espanon, which I've had this sample before. So I have another one that's nice. And then I have these two deluxe samples in here as well. And I'll show you what those look like. So there's the first one there. Great again for traveling. There's the other scent right there. And I'm excited to try these out as well. So those are what I got in my little sample package. And so first here is my unboxing right here. I have not opened this since I got it, since I ordered it online. So we'll open it together. And, you know, I love Dior and their packaging. It's just so, so beautiful. Here's the contents of the first one. And we'll just go over it. And so, first, you guys, I picked up um, a lipstick holder. And this is the holder right here. And this is part of the Melifori collection which I was most excited about so let's just see here I oh yes this is beautiful so here is that beautiful holder that I picked up for my lipstick So that is what it looks like and this is fabric right here so it's not like the pink one that I have that's like um, plastic material um, or wipe open material I can see this maybe probably getting dirty um, if you get your lipstick on it so it is a fabric to note that but yeah I picked that up I thought it was such a beautiful design so I definitely wanted to pick it up. And then also I picked up the Dior Forever Cushion Powder from that same collection. And it's going to have that same beautiful print. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. And again, the same material. So you can probably expect this to get a little dirty because it's not like the plastic ones. I do have one from their older collection that has that same fabric like material that um, will get dirty but when they do ones like this one here I love it because it's easily wipeable so if you get foundation or makeup on here you can just take a little rag and wipe it these you would actually have to clean but nonetheless i love the collection let's see what's inside so inside of it you get your little poof right there that says dior on it and then when you open it up the actual powder is in here so you would lift that back Ooh. and this one is such a glittery powder it's supposed to be like a face powder um, but it does look very glittery. I don't know if you'll be able to catch that up close. When I opened it, all the glitter was coming out. So for me, I probably would use this to highlight areas. So if you want to highlight your decollete or something like that, I would use it as a nice highlighter. So just watching it, I know that this is just going to be, it's just a glitter effect. I mean, it's just putting glitter all over my skin. So if that's something you're interested in, pick up the palette. Or if you want to be like me and pick it up for the design alone, then there you go. But it's not something that you would have to have, I would say that, because it's just glitter. 
unless you just want to glitter up your body, you know? So, yeah, that is that item that I picked up. And then lastly, one that I was most excited about was to pick up their new um, scented candle here from that same collection. But looking at it, it's awfully small, so I'm going to open it. And it probably is tiny, judged on the packaging, the little box. So, but nevertheless, you know I have um, on my Allen all Dior things in the middle so i was looking to just add this piece to it as decorations and oh my gosh you guys just opening it it smells so good oh my gosh i yes it is tiny but i wish they had this in a larger one because this smell mm, oh my gosh it smells so good so here is the little tiny candle it is tiny you guys there's the pink in the inside i fell in love of course with that decoration and i'm gonna put this up on my center allen you guys i'll show you how it looks up there i'll insert a picture if i can but yeah that's what i picked this up mainly for now I'm going to show you how tiny this is compared to my other candles. Do you see? This is my Baccarat candle. And this is the Dior, Miss Dior. So, so tiny, right? Now, I got a candle this size free from YSL. And it was free. And the YSL one is even maybe a tad little bit bigger, taller than it. And I got this um, as a complimentary gift from YSL Beauty. So, this is free and this is like 40 something dollars. So, it's really, really tiny. Again, it smells beautiful, but it's just so tiny for the price, I think. This is one of the smaller Bath and Body Works candles, not even a three wick. This is their one wick. And so, compared to that, you see... It's tiny, you guys. So, just wanted to make note of that. But the scent is lovely. So, it will definitely be going on my um, island area up there. And so, next, you guys, in this packaging right here, I'm going to go really quickly, too, because... I've taken up enough of you guys' time already. I have some more samples, and they look like the same samples, so I'm not going to really go over them too much. So, um, yeah. Another of that same Jador, and another tiny one. This is a different one here. So, I'll show you that one. So, I have three of these little travel things today. To put in my travel bag so that's that one okay so those lovely samples there and in this bag i have just three little items which is probably why they put it in the bag but i am gonna keep this bag because it's beautiful you guys i'm gonna put it up somewhere and um, the first one I have here is another Dior Attic, um, lipstick holder from that Meliphoria collection. So, there was two in that collection. So, this is the other one that I got. Right there. Still has that beautiful fabric material. But, that's that one, you guys. So, pick that one up. Then I have, I picked up a lipstick refill to go in it. Um, this one is in shade 373 Rose Celestial. Right here. Looks like that. Um, and the refills just come like this. So, you just pop them in. Now, you can buy... Um, the whole lipstick if you want but since i already got the casings i just wanted a refill to go in it 
Um, I love Dior lipsticks. These ones from this line here, I love. I have one called Thai and Dior. I wore it last night. I wear it all the time. It's a perfect nude for me. But this one has that pinkish tone. So this is Rose Celestial. And I'm sure I'll love this one as well. So I have that and that'll just go right in this beautiful holder just like that. And so yeah, pick that one up. The last item that I had to pick up, you guys, I didn't have to, but I did, was from their backstage collection. And it is new. It is part of their holiday line. And it's the eye palette, you guys. Here is what it looks like. And this one is in the shade khaki neutral. And you guys look at those shades right there you know i had to get it when i saw those greens greens get me all the time i'm gonna tell you that right now it's one thing about me if your palette has a green in it and it's pretty i'm gonna get it so yes that is the khaki neutrals palette from their holiday collection that not not too long ago launched they launched some of their holiday stuff already so, yeah, you guys, here, that is right here. Look at that beautiful one right there. That's such a deep, pretty green. But I'm excited to try all of these out. So, that was the last item I picked up, you guys. And finally, one other thing I wanted to show you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. I am a Platinum member with Dior, but for the longest time, they were out of the Platinum gift. So finally, it came back in stock, you guys. And here it is right here. And let me just show you what that looks like. So in this, you get the Capture Total Intensive essence lotion and then you also get this beautiful pink water bottle which you know your girl was most excited for so here it is you guys and this is a full-size product and look how huge this water bottle is and it's glass let me just take it out so i can show you i'm gonna put this in my bathroom so i can start using that with my skincare routine so look at that very nice full size and so here is this beautiful water bottle right here that says dior down it and when you turn it around it also says it on the other side it has the little infamous star right there at the lid and again this is the glass bottle I'm excited to use these, you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of this. So, you know, guys, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Everything is linked in the description bar below. When I don't have time to do a video, I try to post on my Instagram. So, like, I didn't have time to share with you my Detroit trip because as soon as I got back it was instantly caring for my mom and you know taking her into surgery so yeah I posted some pictures of that of the game that we went to and then um, I posted also me going to Motown you guys which I had a fabulous time all that heritage there in that building it was overwhelming I loved it so much I have little trinkets that I purchased from that museum as well um, that I'll be sharing with you. But you guys, I have so many pictures from that experience. It, it, was, it was a beautiful city, but just going to Motown, it just warmed my heart. All that beautiful African-American heritage there, you guys. I loved it. And so, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do something and share all those photos 
with you of that. You couldn't film inside of there, but you could definitely take pictures. So I have a lot of pictures, you guys. But yeah, you guys, that is it from my beauty haul unboxing. I'll come back with part two sometime soon to show you all the clothing and any handbags that I've picked up, those type of things. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that, you guys. So as always, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.